Hello everybody and welcome to UDK Basics Tutorial Part 5. Before we start off the tutorial, we're gonna head to the internet browser to download the UDK Texture Pack and we're gonna go for UDK Materials click on the first link and we're gonna choose the eighth one because it's the only one that has a grass. So after you download it you place it in the content folder depending on where you installed your UDK then head back to UDK and we're gonna begin from here so next thing is we're gonna delete all this stuff and uh, this guy moves over there and then we're gonna make a new terrain so to do that we're gonna go to tools new terrain and let's make it uh, let's make about 80. It's pretty huge, but it's good enough for now. None and finish. There we go. We are here with our first terrain. It's uh, pretty basic. There's nothing in it yet, and it's pretty empty. So to add more things and materials to it, you're gonna have to use the Unreal Terrain Edit. So to do this, first of all, let's add some material. As we learned before, we go to Content Browser, find some material, and I'm going to use the new texture pack that I already uh, imported from the internet. So I'm going to fully load it and uh, check material here. And then let's go with, uh, I'm going to go with this one over here. And I'm just so after selecting it, I'm going to click on New Terrain Setup Layer from Material Auto Create. So this will give us this kind of material on it. Now the next thing is uh, going to make sure that you are still in the um, UT game or UT Deathmatch. Either one will be fine. So let's just use uh, UT Deathmatch. Or actually. UT game for both. Before we do anything else, make sure that your player actually spawns on the terrain. So to do that, just move it over and you are all set. Now, to edit your terrain, gonna go to Unreal Terrain Edit again make sure you select the paint tool make your strength about however you want I'm gonna put it for about 50 52 whatever uh, radius put it however it's it depends on how big your map is fallout let's just keep it zero for now and all you have to do actually stay in the terrain edit then hold control and you can make your own mountains. If you um, right click, you will be able to make it go down, such as this. Just set up terrain here. That should be pretty good. So that looks good. Now, if we want to add another material, we're going to have to go back to Content Browser. And let's say, uh, click on All Assets, get back to All Assets, and then search for Sand. And let's check Material. Let's make sure it's selected. Go back, click the same thing, and click on the Eye tool twice so you can select it. And then all you have to do is just hold control and then you can fill it in with the material that you want. Gonna make it about don't make it too strong and make it a little bit smaller here. Just like that. Uh, 
Then, after finishing the whole thing, you will end up with this, which looks pretty nice. So there you got your own terrain set up. Next off, we're going to learn how to add um, some utilities that you can actually use for your game, which come in handy because UDK provides it for you. So to do that, go ahead and go to Content Browser, go to Actor Classes, and let's select Vehicles, select the Scorpion, and then drag it here, and you will be... Click on E, and you can ride your own terrain, just like that. It's kind of like a race. Next, you might end up with some uh, lighting issues. All you have to do is just click on build all or just build light. Depends on what you want, but I just prefer build all. And then you'll solve it. Next, we will try out the Let's try the airplane, both of them. So here you can have multiple airplanes, everybody pre-built. There you go. Well, let's test out the second one. And those are the three vehicles you can use in the game. You can always import uh, more vehicles uh, and more objects. Next, we're gonna make some uh, impulse actors and how they are used in the game. So let's go ahead and find some walls we can use. Select all assets. Wall, um, static meshes. Okay, so last time we uh, learned how to make a fractured wall. So it's going to be about the same thing over here. Um, so let's pick some sort of wall. Let's pick this one here. Make it uh, fracturable. About 75. Uh, make sure that support chunks are on here. Just like that. Well, it's a little bit tough to get, but you get the point. Uh, and click on slice. Let's make it uh, destroy. Okay, so we got it over here. Now we're gonna have to make it. Make sure that it's selected on become dynamic uh, make sure this is not turned on sometimes you'll find it turned on and remove these simple line collisions so that when the wall is destroyed we're not gonna actually have any collisions on the chunks that are falling off and let's make the health a little bit smaller um, let's make it about 30 be fine and now we can just drag it in, put it over here, and let's put it, uh, make it larger. Bring it over here, and then we're gonna insert uh, the impulse actor. So to do that, just keep 
Welcome to After Classes. Go there. Uh, click on Physics, Radial Impulse Sector, and then drag it over here. Um, make sure that it can actually cause fracture and move it to the area that you want to be destroyed. So in this case, let's test it out as being uh, able to destroy the whole wall. Just like that. And then we're gonna actually make it functional by going to Kismet. And we're gonna, let's see, we're gonna go new action, toggle, toggle so it can be toggled. Then use new object variable, the radial impulse. Hook it up as target. Then we're gonna make a new trigger. And let's put the trigger right over, right over here. Add actor, trigger, make it a little bit bigger, a little bit, like just like that. And then um, make it so that it's touched. It turns on the toggle and therefore makes the impulse actor active and making the wall explode. Let's test it out. So we can't really, let's move this plane a little bit further. So. Well, what do you know? All right. So that did not actually work pretty well. We noticed that the material is, um, let's see what's wrong with it exactly. Okay, that was way too fast. So you can see that the material inside is not the same as the wall. So to fix that, go back to the wall, find content browser, there it is. And make sure that the material, if I can remember, yep, right here. So the first material is right here. So all we have to do is just control C in the material for zero. And then for element one, we're gonna copy the same material, click enter, and that should fix the first vault. So there we go, that fix that. So it looks like because of the terrain being uh, too big or some faulty error, uh, it uh, caused the impulse sector to make it seem like it's immediately destroyed. But in your case, it should work probably because I've already seen it before being working. Uh, it just exploded right in front of me, not just like the chunks just disappeared. So that shouldn't happen. So it should just destroy in front of you. Like uh, you see, you'll see a real explosion happening. Now, if you want to have fun with the impulse sector, let's bring it down a little bit. Right over here, that's good. And then let's bring the trigger right over here. And let's test it out to seem like... It would seem like the car is And that's about it for this tutorial. Stay tuned for part 6 and make sure you subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye bye.